Hi, my name is Anita Stoltenberg and I'm the Respiratory Care Supervisor at the Mayo Clinic Rochester as part of the emergency department and the trauma ICU. We've been talking about shock and I'm going to talk specifically about the STO2 monitor in the use of patients in shock. The STO2 monitor gives providers an additional tool to use when caring for trauma patients. Uh, this can help them assess their patient's condition because when a patient is in shock, the blood is shunted away from away from the peripheral muscle and two vital organs. The SDO2 monitor is a value that shows the oxygen saturation in the microcirculation where oxygen is exchanged with tissue. The STO2 monitor is non-invasive, quick and easy to use, and continuous. It has been used in shock resuscitation, uh, predicting outcomes in the emergency department, and sepsis resuscitation. The monitor, monitoring the tissue oxygenation will help alert providers early to changes in their patient's condition. Um, it'll help limit the number, severity, and duration of possible complications and decrease patient's length of stay. There are three main equipment parts to this. There's the monitor, the um, optical cable, and the single-use sensor. Uh, the sensor is placed on the Fenar eminence, which is the fleshy part on the palm of the hand right below the thumb. It can just be attached, like I said, it is non-invasive, so it's just attached right there to the skin. Uh, the STO2 monitor works by using a near-infrared light that illuminates muscle tissue approximately 15 millimeters below the sensor and it uses four calibrated wavelengths of near-infrared light. Um, the STO2 should be 75% or greater. This would indicate adequate perfusion. Anything below 75% would indicate hypoperfusion. A persistently low or falling STO2 is an indication that suggests something abnormal or deteriorating perfusion status. The STO2 monitor is used at the Mayo Clinic Rochester on all level one trauma patients and is also used in the trauma ICU. Uh, we feel that this monitor brings value to our patients uh, by indicating hypoperfusion and it can be an earlier indication than our other vital signs like blood pressure and heart rate.